I will be talking today on MGUS risk stratification. As you know, MGUS affects 3 to 4 percent of the general population over the age of 50 and carries a 1 percent per year risk of progression to multiple myeloma or related disorders. So it's a very common problem that's important. And you can refine the risk of progression uh, by just simple methods like how big is the monoclonal protein, what type of monoclonal protein, and is the free light chain ratio abnormal or not. We can use these three variables to risk stratify MGUS so that if patients have a uh, high monoclonal protein, a non-IgG type of MGUS, or an abnormal light chain ratio, if they have all of those three abnormalities, then their risk of progression in the next 20 years is about 50% or more. On the other hand, if they have none of those factors, then the lifetime risk of progression is very low. So I'm going to be explaining the uh, way, ways of risk stratifying patients so that we can counsel patients accordingly. More importantly, once you risk stratify, you can also decide which patients need a bone marrow biopsy, who needs a bone survey, and who can be watched carefully um, without doing those invasive tests. And so low-risk patients with MGUS generally do not need a baseline bone marrow biopsy or a bone survey, but they can just be rechecked in six months, and then if that's stable, just we can reassure them. On the other hand, higher-risk patients will need both a baseline bone marrow imaging, bone marrow biopsy, as well as bone survey or bone imaging, and then uh, six-month follow-up, and then annually thereafter.